Welcome to Mud Kips and Bricks. My name is Clint, and today I'm so excited because we are opening the Ultra a Premium Charizard mm, Collection. Got a little gold bloom on you there. Uh, this is an amazing set. It has so much stuff inside of it. It's a celebration of the Sword and Shield series of the last three years from what, whatever, 2019 to, to you know, uh, 2022. And this will always be quite the collector's item. You'll see why as we open up the box. So without further ado, let's get into it. This box actually feels very premium. You know, you know what I mean? Watch, watch this. Look at this. What? What? This is crazy. So it has like a little where it opens up. My goodness. That's so cool. Some of the things you'll see are the Gigantamax Charizard playmat, right? This is awesome, absolutely cool. And then it has these little compartments, these boxes, with Charizard in different forms and then the Pokeball, right? And so as we slide out one of the drawers, we have up the promo cards and a bunch of packs um, right off the bat. So. This three, six, seven, well, this is eight of the packs, right? Which I think it has 16. We got Brilliant Stars, Astral Radiance, and Lost Origin in that. And then it has the promo cards as well, which is really the special part. Really the reason why people are buying this set, right? These, these amazing promo cards. Let's get a close up. Look at this Charizard B. Sleeping, what a beautiful card. What an absolutely beautiful card, my goodness. They did such a good job. Wow. So we have Charizard V, we have this Charizard V Max. Look at this Godzilla looking artwork. <laughs> Just burning everything, burninating the countryside, burninating the village. Wow, man, I mean, I've, I've seen, you know, online, like, you know, people posting about it, but in person, uh, and, and hopefully, hopefully my camera's up to snuff. I mean, if you can see, like, that's, that is beautiful. And then my favorite one, the Alt Art Charizard V-Star. This is my favorite artwork by far. Look at Mewtwo and Charizard in this epic battle. That is so cool. Look at that. What a beautiful card. These artists uh, that work, which that one, who's this? Uh, uh, Oshiyama did uh, did that one. That It's just amazing, absolutely amazing. And like I said, that box also came with all the packs. Not all, but all those packs. And let's see in the other compartments. What do we have? We have a V-Star marker and more packs. Hey, let's see. In this one, we have Fusion Strike, Evolving Skies, Darkness Ablaze, Vivid Voltage. So all of the packs are like a, a collection of some of the best that Sword and Shield had to offer. Um, and let's just get, I'm just going to open up the rest of this. Put this aside. We have, let's get some other close-ups of this. Really cool. It has coins, a uh, coin and a uh, die, dice, die, dices. <laughs> um, look at this. Let me try to get in focus. Look at this gold coin. Wow. That is clean. Man, that looks awesome. Gosh. So as you can see, they really put a lot of effort into the these gold die. Gosh, someone's gonna be rolling up the tournaments in style. Even gold and like white, like for the for the poison and burn tokens. Look at that. That's crazy. And Gigantamax art sleeves. Gotta love that as well. Wow. Ah, uh, this is this is quite the set. If if you are a fan of Charizard, I mean, what an absolute amazing collection. Um, let's just get into packs, right? 
just start opening some packs. See what we can pull from this, other than the guaranteed alts, which are already good enough in my book. Take a tour through, we'll start with Darkness Ablaze, which I think goes Darkness and then and then Vivid Voltage was, was later. So I'll try to go in, in the order that these sets came out. Um, if I remember correctly, we got Darkness Energy, Fletchender, Don't Be Zuelis, Poopitar, Spinarak, Panpour, Diglett, Jigglypuff, Rowlet, Caparaja, a great card, and Galarian Darmanitan. Darmanitan, that's a, that's cool, cool artwork. I actually don't think I've seen that one. Um, from It's a celebration of Sword and Shield, all the different packs they've done, um, sets, rather. Um, so this, this collection has different ones um, from Darkness Ablaze all the way to Lost Origin, Fight the Power Energy, Go Go Go, Stone Energy, Beldum, Fanfi, Duskull, Electrike, Pineco, Galvantula, and Fortress. So, oh man, that's an interesting. It's an interesting. For Fortress always looks like a shiny. It's not. Um, here's more Vivid Voltage, which is a really cool set. Had the has the Rainbow Achonkachu, the uh, big boy, big boy Pikachu. Grass Energy. It's always greener on the other deck. Shuppet, Fair Seed. Joltic, Sandile, C Dot, Reverse Tail Out, and a Quagsire. Awkward looking Quagsire. Um, that was the last of Vivid Voltage. Let's go into Evolving Sky, see what we can get here. Uh, yeah, if you, I, I know, I, I'm pretty sure these UPCs are a little easier to find than um, the last one they did for Celebrations, so. Uh, Check your local game stores. Uh, you know, it is a, a hefty price tag um, for sure, but you get a lot. I mean, 16 packs, all the other stuff. Let's see. Hey, Grandpa, the Grandpa. Um, you know, 16 packs is a lot, but also um, the play mat is worth a lot. The alt arts, I mean, those alone, you know, those are going to be worth something. Someday, uh, not, not that you should keep it to sell or, or anything like that, but just that they're they are they do have value, um, and so it's it's not like a rip off or anything. Like you're getting something that's going to hold value, that's going to be an awesome centerpiece of a collection if you're into. Oh, I love this flapple, and ooh, a Hollow Galarian Moltres, a very playable card from Evolving Skies that I've used in a deck or two. Good stuff. Um, the last evolving skies. Let's see. Uh, but yeah, it's it really is a you know a celebration of the sword and shield era. As we move into scarlet and violet, there will be one more mini set for sword and shields. It'll have alt arts and reprints and things, um, kind of like a, a farewell set. Uh, so this is not the farewell set, but it is. Oh hey, Gigalith. It is. Um, like, you know, the big collection to end the Sword and Shield uh, series. As we move into Scarlet Violet, there will be all sorts of things, a return of EX cards in uh, Scarlet and Violet, which will bring new, you know, mechanics into the game. Uh, you know, there's that, there's a mechanic being introduced, high energy, um, in uh, Scarlet and Violet that it's like terrestrializing, ter I don't know, it's some crystal type change thing, it's interesting. Gorbis, so we're on to Fusion Strike Out, am I right? Um, just kidding, kind of. <laughs> and it's, uh, I I'm excited, uh, Scarlet and Violet looks awesome. Ginger Energy, finally! Semi Semi Sage, Semi Hey, Semi Yeah! Um, I'm excited for the new Scarlet and Violet games. Uh, yeah, let's see, what do we get? Hey, Hollow Steelix. What is up, Hollow Steelix? Um, there's gonna be four player co op in the new game. There's, uh, there's gonna be, uh, legendaries that you can ride on. Not ride on the Pokemon, but ride on. 
two different things. Uh, fight the power energy. Corbus Squire, Shanana, Nana, Nana, and then again, Drillbur. Bunnelby, Mudkips and Bricks, baby. More Peko, Meliota, Melio, whatever. And uh, what the heck? Uh, non shiny. This is not even a hollow. At least this is a reverse. Well, I don't know if you need some of those, so. I gotcha. Um, brilliant stars. Uh, let's. Oh, man, no, no big hits so far. So you're welcome that I got this collection instead of y'all. Um, you know, but there's a lot of packs left, so just kidding. The big hits are the friends we made along the way. No, it's the altar Charizards. Magma Basin, Credant, Chimchar, Mencino, Ball Toy, Snurunt, Snurunt, Nosepass, Al Creamy, and a uh, Digimon. No, it's Dredagon. Looks like a Digimon. Was that supposed to be a, res a reference to Digimon? Dredagon? He just looks like a Digimon. He doesn't really look like a. Doesn't really look like a Pokemon. You know what I'm saying? Okay, Aqua, Soap Energy, Tropius, Claydol, Udol, Fresh Water, Axew, um, Sinks for Guns and Roses, Burmy, Magma Basin, Reverse Hollow, and a Clefable with its Moonlit uh, Miracle from Brilliant Stars. Last Brilliant Stars. Stars. Don't know why I said it like that. Doesn't matter. It's fine. Let's see what we've got. Steel Energy, Ultra Ball, it's a great card. Tropius, Morgrim, Din, 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 Cub Chew, God bless you, Farfetch'd, Execute. Hey, speaking of great cards, Ultra Ball and El Hollow Inferne. Nice. Real nice. Um, moving on to Astral Radiance. An awesome set with, I feel like, much better pull rates than a lot of the other sets. Like, I've, I've pulled some good stuff in Astral Radiance pretty easily. Landfill Energy. Oh, no. Uxie. Sui Sui and whatever. How you say that. Swinabub. There's another one. Pet Lil. Nicket Nicket. Ursaluna. <laughs> what did I say? What did I say? Rainbow Rare, full art Choi. This Astral Radiance, man. It never fails. Gosh, that is a beautiful card. We have struck. We have struck and tasted the rainbow. Oh man, awesome. Thank you, Astral Radiance. So, not a complete bust. Nah. I've made it a habit of pulling a lot of rainbows on this channel. Um, so, there's an another one. Soap Energy. Not really. Grant you some wishes. Togetic. Bisharp. Mantine. The Scyther. Basculin. Voltorb. Hey! Trainer Gallery Bay. Because uh, Astral Radiance is Bay. And Registeel. What the heck? Back to back. Thanks, Astral Radiance. It's so good to me. It's so good to us. Last Astral Radiance. Thank you, Astral Radiance. Um. And then after this, it'll be Lost Origin, which has also been decent to me, to be honest. Knocked Owl, Jubilee Village, Dartrix, Hippopotas, Cyndaquil, Quillfish, Growlithe, Bergmite, Whizcash, and a Heatran V. Look, all the hits were in Astral Radiance. How about it? <laughs> That's funny. Man, Astral. See? Astral Radiance knows what's up. They know, they know what's up. Uh, let's go into the last couple of packs. Zappity zap zap energy with the lickety lickety lick. Relicanth, Wormpool, Shuppet, Murkrow, a murder of crows, I get it. Makuhita, a good boy, and a dugong. And the ultra premium Charizard last pack magic. Let's see if we can get something from this last lost origin pack. We start with Fight the Power Energy, which is always a good sign. Right on. Litwick, Spinarak, Apapapom, Clefairy, Slugma. Yes! Gengar for the last pack magic. I've wanted this card. I needed this card. I got the card. Look at this amazing trainer gallery from Lost Origin. 
Gengar, and what's behind it? A Magirna. No one cares about you, Magirna. Gengar, one of the original Kantos, one of my favorite Pokemon, one of the coolest. What a way to end the packs. All right, friends, there's the Ultra Premium Collection Charizard. With everything you get in this, it's a huge thumbs up for me. I had so much fun opening it. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Uh, let me know if you think it's worth it. If you're gonna get one, let me know what your favorite alt art Charizard is. Mine's the Charizard V-Star, personally. But thanks as always for watching. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and remember the motto, which is catch, collect, create. And thank you again. I'll see you in the next one.